Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome in. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. My name's Amanda, for those of you who don't know me, and this is The Connected Conduit, where I just open up, tippy-tap in, and bring through messages for you from the divine, for your greatest and highest good. Okay, so I'm going to be working with Archangel Michael in this message again, you guys. Um, we're working together. We're doing it. <laughs> Um, he's amazing, amazing to work with. And if you're feeling guided to call him in and assist you in your life, I highly recommend it. He cannot come in and assist you unless you invite him in. Okay, you have to call upon his energy. You have to call upon Archangel Michael to assist you in your life in any way that you need. Okay, but you have to ask. Ask and you shall receive. If you don't ask, he's not allowed to come in and interfere or he's not allowed to come in and, and assist you okay so you have to give him permission because we have free will use your free will to call in archangel michael and protect you and guide you along your journey okay so he's coming through to say don't take your mission lightly don't take your life's purpose lightly it's crucial that you remain focused and in good health. And he really wants you to call upon him to dispel your worries and your fears around being a powerful person, around being divine and tapping in to your divinity and your true nature and your true power. Because your true nature is energetic. You are an eternal flame, you guys. Eternal flame. Okay? You are divine. You are very powerful. And don't doubt that. Believe. Believe in source. Believe in yourself. And believe in the divine, believe in your angels and the ascended masters, okay? Because they're really wanting to work with you. They're wanting to walk with you hand in hand is what he's saying. I'm seeing the two of cups in my third eye, which shows two people holding hands. And I feel like this is Archangel Michael and you, like you guys are coming together, working together as one in order to bring enlightenment, clarity, and guidance, and hope and faith to humanity, to the collective. So this is not something that, it's not small, it's big, and it needs to be treated as such. And another thing too, he's saying you must protect your light, you must protect your energy, because if you cannot protect your light, then they cannot give you more light, right? So you have to show the divine that you're ready for more by pro by protecting the light that you already have. Okay? So, and how you're going to do that is with your thoughts, with your prayers, with your intention. You're going to protect your light by calling in Archangel Michael and asking him to protect it. Okay? Um, I just found... I just found a video the other day by Elizabeth Claire Prophet, and it was on Twin Flames, and it was amazing. And then today I was on YouTube, and another one of her videos popped up on my feed, and I watched it, and it was amazing, okay? It's, um, Archangel Michael put her videos in my feed, Okay, so he wanted me to find her because I was meant to learn something from her. And I have. I've learned a lot of things already. And it, it's just beautiful. So when the student is ready, the teacher appears, right? And, and just remember that. When you're ready, the right people will enter your life. You're going to find the right things. You're going to find the right videos or you're going to you will find the right books or you're going to find a teacher or a guide or a mentor to assist you along your journey okay so i really resonate with elizabeth claire prophet's um lectures and her teachings and her wisdom i really really resonate it or i really really resonate with her and to my soul it feels 
my soul accepts her wisdom as truth. That's how it is for me. Okay, now it's not a one size fits all. So maybe some of you will resonate with her teachings. Maybe some of you won't. And that's totally fine. But just find people that you resonate with. Okay, because you're it's it's all about does it feel aligned with you? Okay, so just focus on that. Um, so check her out if you've never heard about her. I highly recommend her. And um, so I watched one of her videos. What was it called? I actually wrote the video down. Oh yeah, okay. So it's called The Coming Revolution in Higher Consciousness with Elizabeth Clare Prophet. The YouTube channel that posted it is the violet pimpernel and the video is titled 1989 number three of three end of divine plan of twin flames new york city with elizabeth claire prophet and it's interesting i'm just noticing that it's video number three of three 33 is a master teacher number okay so the master teachers the ascended masters are coming through and they want you to know, like, they want to work with you. Archangel Michael wants to work with you. Other ascended masters want to work with you, like Saint Germain, okay? So you could be seeing the number 33 or 333 or 313, okay? Um, so yeah, check it out if you feel called to do so. Only if you feel called, okay? Um, I want to read to you the prayer the Archangel Michael prayer that she said in this video, okay? Um, it goes, In the name of the beloved, mighty, victorious presence of God, I am in me my very own beloved, holy Christ self, holy Christ cells of all mankind, beloved Archangel Michael, beloved Ianello, the entire spirit of the great white brotherhood and the world mother, elemental light fire air water and earth i decree lord michael before lord michael behind lord michael to the right lord michael to the left lord michael above lord michael below lord michael lord michael wherever i go i am his love protecting here i am his love protecting here i am his love protecting here Okay, and then you can repeat, Lord Michael before, Lord Michael behind, Lord Michael to the right, Lord Michael to the left, Lord Michael above, Lord Michael below, Lord Michael, Lord Michael, wherever I go. I am his love protecting here. I am his love protecting here. I am his love protecting here. Okay, you can repeat that as, as many times as you wish. Um, but it was just, it was so beautiful and it was so moving and it just made me burst into tears. Um, I even get quite emotional, like I was getting quite emotional reading that. So <laughs> it's just very powerful, you guys. And I, you, you're, you're going to feel the difference that intention makes, that prayer makes. Okay. So if you feel called, um, write it down, say it every day. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Another thing that she was talking about in this video is the tube of light protection prayer. So it's base, it's basically you're going to be putting on the real garment of God. Okay, and it's going to protect your light. So um, check out that video, you guys, because she says the prayer in there. And it, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay, I'm going to read it. I'm just going to read it right now. Tube of light protection prayer. Beloved, I am presence bright round me. Seal your tube of light from ascended master flame. Call forth now in God's own name. Let it keep my temple free from all discord sent to me. I am calling forth violet fire to blaze and transmute all desire. Keeping on in freedom's name till I am one with a violet flame. Beloved, I am presence bright, round me seal your tube of light. From ascending master flame, call forth now in God's own name. Let it keep my temple free from all discord sent to me. I am calling forth violet fire to blaze and transmute all desire. Keeping gone in freedom's name till I am one with a violet flame. Beloved, I am presence Bright round me seal your tube of light from ascended master flame. Call forth now in God's own name. 
Let it keep my temple free from all discord sent to me. I am calling forth violet fire to blaze and transmute all desire, keeping gone in freedom's name till I am one with a violet flame. That's the protection prayer, the real garment of God. She was saying, tube of light, tube of light, protection prayer. Put this on first thing in the morning. She says, you get up, you get dressed, you put clothes on. Make sure you also put on this tube of light. You wouldn't go outside naked. So also don't forget to put on your tube of light. <laughs> so um, beautiful, beautiful. I mean, I just get goosebumps woo, when I was reading that, like all over my body, very powerful stuff, you guys. Um, so using our throat chakra, using our voice to, to protect ourselves and call in healing and love and light and, and for ourselves and for our family members and for the whole world, like we have the power to do that. We have the power to make a huge difference in the world using our voice, our intentions, our prayers for good right? So beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's pull some, let's pull some tarot for you. Let's see what else wishes to, to come through. I'm hearing do not be swayed off your path. Stay on the path. Stay on your path. The Hierophant, this is the divine, this is spirit, this is God, this is source. Wow. <laughs> um, this is the ascended master's energy, right? Like master teacher, you are a master teacher, whether you know it or not, that is your destiny. That's what you're meant to be doing. These are the shoes you are meant to fill. You are meant to be a spiritual teacher, a spiritual guru. Oh my gosh. Okay, you are the Hierophant. You can also unlock this wisdom. It's within you. It's within you. And you can unlock it by spending time in meditation. You can unlock it by praying, right? Saying prayers to unlock it. But again, like the, the Ascended Masters, they, they want to gift you something. They want to gift you more light, more wisdom, but you need to be ready for it, okay? So they want you to prepare. They want you to pre pre prepare your mind, your body, and your soul, okay? So stay healthy. Stay in good health. Stay balanced. That's really, really important. And, and don't get swayed off your path, okay? The Eight of Pentacles, beautiful. So you're meant to do this as a career, okay? Whatever you're meant to do for work, it's spiritual in nature. Um, <clears throat> you are a teacher and they want you to stay, Michael wants you to stay focused and dedicated. That's what the Eight of Pentacles represents. Someone who is diligently working away on their craft, on their skills, on their gifts, Someone who is constantly learning and growing and researching and, and things like this, okay? So never stop learning. Pick up a new book. Get inspired. Register for a course. There's always more you can learn, right? Look at Temperance, the healing angel. Balance, right? It's important to stay in balance at this time. And I'm sorry if you guys can hear a bit of a loud worrying sound in the background. The neighbors are having, they had a little bit of a flood in their crawl space. So somebody has come with a tube and they're sucking out all of this water. So the motor is running and I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I can hear it. So my apologies if, if you're finding that annoying. Um, that's what that is. But yeah, don't take your mission lightly, you guys. Like this is a divine mission that you have. The five of wands. So this is about conflict, struggle, change, discord, discord. Okay, that's why they really were encouraging me to say that prayer. Okay, because in the prayer it says, let it keep my temple free from all discord sent to me. So your body is a temple and you must treat it as such. You must protect it as such. 
because people are going, they're going to try to rile you, to challenge you, fight with you, create discord in your life. And you must be able to rise above and protect yourself from this energy. This could even be inner con conflict within yourself. You know, struggling with your own things struggling with your own emotions, struggling with addictions, stuff like this, struggling to stay in good health or make good decisions. And this is why you must call upon Archangel Michael to protect you. Two of Swords. Yeah, so for some of you, it's like you're... <laughs> me. It's almost like... You're blocking out divine guidance or you're blocking out your spirit team or you're blocking out angelic assistance and they really want you to open up and and call them in so that they can help you progress along your journey, along your path, okay? Ten of Cups, wow. So this mission is going to make you so happy. Like your life's purpose is going to make you so happy. It's everything you ever wanted and then some. It's it's one it's what's up? Um, one sec, love. We'll just go over. Yeah. One sec, guys. My son just needs me. Just one moment. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, my son had a concern, but everything is fine. Anyways, back to the reading. My apologies for that. So your dedication and trust and focus is going to pay off big time big time that's what they want you to know okay the ace of pentacles so i feel like the divine is wanting to give you something they want to give you something but if you are in a state of conflict or discord and you're not protecting your holy light your divine light your godliness then they can't give it to you they want to give this to you, but you have to open up and you have to receive it and you need to be ready. So this is why this message has been coming. This is why this message is coming through today. Okay, so that you can bring your conscious awareness to this issue and you can address it. All right, because this is a download. This is a new beginning. This is a nugget of information that the divine, the ascended masters wish to give you. This could even be teachings that you're meant to pass on. Okay, this could be wisdom that people need in order to better their lives so this is serious okay like you have a really important mission and they want you to start taking it more seriously all right and protect your energy and use the prayers if you feel called all right you guys so um i oh he's back again one second no, but it's oh like shh, shh, shh. let's talk in private Okay, so, you know, this is the life of a mom. This is the life of a mom. <laughs> Anyways, my apologies. Okay, I just want to pull some oracles for you. Okay, thanks for hanging in there with me. <laughs> ah. I normally don't film on the weekends, but I was really called to the table. So, anyways... I always try to do these readings when my kiddos are at school so that I can 
really focus in on it. Isis, reclaiming magic. Call back your power and what is rightfully yours. Call back your power. Call back your light. Call back your godliness. <laughs> call back your I am presence. Right? Call it back. Call back your power. And the way you're going to do that is by sending, setting your intentions to do so. I call back my power across all space and time. I call back my power across all space and time. Dwell cool, divine mission. Enlightened action, make choices from the heart. You guys, you cannot make this stuff up. Okay, it says divine mission, and I was channeling through that message for you. Don't take your mission lightly. This is a divine mission. You are here for a divine reason. Jesus, acts of service. When you serve, the universe serves you. Okay, Jesus, an ascended master. He wants to work with you. Rumi, mystical knowing, breaking boundaries, personal experience of God. This is it. It's, it's the personal experience of God. Learning about that I am presence. I am a child of the divine. I am. I am a child of God. Okay, so you're meant to break boundaries, you're meant to speak truth, share wisdom, help others, you're meant to be a leader, Commander Ashtar, leadership activation, time to evolve, trust in your ability to guide others. Okay, Lady Portia, overcoming limitations, karmic release, let go of the need to be right. Serapis Bay, paradigm shift, activation, to grow, make the necessary change. 2212 on the timestamp, as I said that, you could be seeing twos. Okay, so I'm also going to get a message from your angels. Okay, this is messages from your angels by Doreen Virtue. Opal, your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. Sorry, I read that kind of weird. I'm going to do that again. Your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. <laughs> I still said it weird. <laughs> well cared for. They're being well cared for. Okay. Rochelle. As you honor and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. Crystal, have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't see yet. Okay. And on the bottom we have Maya, schooling study and education help your life's purpose and personal growth at this time the angels will guide you and help you with this process yeah so a strong message you know if you're feeling guided to register for a course or pick up a new book or watch some more videos and learn something new or expand your knowledge on a certain subject that you're interested in then definitely do so okay because it's only going to help you shift and grow and expand Okay, so I think I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you found it helpful. And I'm wishing you all the best. I'm sending you all the good vibes. And remember to stay aligned, my friends. Stay aligned. Bye.